What's happening, folks? Back with another reaction. Back with some more Ultravox, and we're going back to Quartet 1982. And the next track is Him, as in H Y M N, which is a song that is praising and worshipful, often religious, though I think not technically necessarily so. But yeah, one would maybe not be surprised to hear lyrics that fit into a religious mode, perhaps only through figurative association, or maybe more literally. But yeah, that would be my guess out of the gate. Let's find out if there's anything like that in the song. This is Him by Ultravox on their 1982 album, Quartet. Give us this all that you should need.
not only will I praise the gradual nature of this fade out, I'll even go so far as to say this is a song that as it got into this loop of the chorus, I was like, you know, I think this song should fade out. Like, it felt like one that fits the fade out type of ending. It was just that constant um, explosive quality of the chorus just riding into the sunset and slowly fading with the Doppler effect as it went. So, yeah, it's a rare song where I think a fade out fits very well. And yeah, I think some of those lines are adapted directly from what, at least in English-speaking countries, I think is referred to as the Our Father, but also there seem to be some other lines about, like, give me all that, like, the storybooks tell about, so it seemed to be, like, a meta-analysis of, you know, scripture or literature speaking to wanting those experiences on those levels that are talked about in um, tomes of great significance. And the sonics are really fascinating because we had that just deep grooving bass, a very steady bass groove. Also, the keys were very interesting in some different parts, including a very rapid fire key run that went along with that crazy guitar solo. And even the guitar solo sounded like it maybe had some effects on it or was maybe actually like a keyboard playing guitar sounds. I'm not so sure. I would think that was actually a guitar, but just maybe with some sort of... Um, pedal or some type of effect on it, but either way, the Sonics had a real, like, vintage 80s sound, and this is 82, so of course they would sound like that. I think Midge was sounding good on the vocals, very soaring in some parts, so yeah, a cool tune, and one that I'm curious to hear what people had to say about. Uh, I reacted to a Roxy Music song, and although sonically very different from this, uh, not too long ago, it was called Psalm, and, you know, it's a similar type of word as him. So I wonder how overt the religious references are here, or if they're really, like, comparison. I don't think you're playing it loud enough in your car, sir. Um, I wonder if the copyright will flag that as well. Uh, that interlude aside, um, yeah, I think it's a well-composed track that just, to me, screams early 80s in a good way. And I like the, the different sections. It got to a stripped down section near the end where it was just kind of that kick drum and Midge's voice. So I like the different arrangements as the tune played out. And as I said, a rare song where I think a fade out was probably the right choice. You won't hear that much on my channel. Luca will attest to that. Oh, look at that back leg stretch. Look at that. So yeah, let me know what you think of this one. And she and I will see you next time. Peace.